Hello and welcome. Okay, so today we are going to take a look at the calendar. Um, the calendar is created using the Calendarium app from the community plugins. And that's how I was able to customize and create um, my own calendar for the world within Disgraceland. Different days of the week, um, different months, different year, obviously, uh, and so forth. And let's just walk through this really quick as to how you can set something like this up. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is go down to our options. Um, like I said, it's the Calendarium plugin. We're already on it here, but it's if you click on the gear icon, it'll bring up your little uh, options menu, scroll down your community plugins, and Calendarium is here. Now, this is already showing um, the Tribution calendar that I have set. So for the purposes of this video, we are gonna create a brand new full calendar. So this is where we start. These are our settings here. We're gonna start in general. We have to give the calendar a name right off the bat. Uh, let's call it test cal. Uh, description, we'll call it, we'll just say uh, calendar test. Oh, um, test cal, I, that seems a bit too close to another word. So let's call it test, test. Okay. All right. So uh, the rest of these settings, I'm probably not going to edit. I'm going to keep them as they are for now, but you are more than welcome to change them as you see fit. So we will now go over to the dates. Okay. So right now, everything, we have a lot of errors because we haven't filled any of this stuff out yet. So let's start with, um, let's start with our months. Let's create our months first. So just all you have to do is, so we have, I'll keep it simple. Let's keep it like a 12 month system just for simplicity, I guess. So we'll call, I don't know how to name this. We'll just be easy. Month one, month two, and let's hit fast forward. Okay, and we have our months laid out here. So we can go in a little bit deeper and we probably should. Uh, length, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make all these. 30 days, whoops, I think I hit cancel. Okay, so now all of our calendars are 30 days of equal length here. And then we will go up and let's look at our weekdays. So we're going to need to create some weekdays as well. So we will have one day, two day. Okay. And those are our days of the week and what day? Yeah, we'll start on one day. I guess that'll be our Sunday. So we'll start on one day. Okay. And I'm going to go down here. We're going to go down to our years. Uh, whoops. We're going to use custom years here and we will start it in the year 2300. I guess. And that'll be our start year. The other note with years is if you want to um, go back in time, you can add previous years for little historic notes or something that you want to tag in your calendar. Okay. And we'll come back up here past our months that we filled out, past the days that we filled out, and we will set our day. So today is the 23rd. We will do the 23rd of yeah month six, and the year is 2300. And there we go. That is our that is our start date for our calendar here. Okay, and then we'll click over here to eras and we can add in our own eras. We don't have anything in right now. So we will call this the horrible era and we will add that right in there. Um, it was a bad time for everybody. Okay. Um, oh, maybe because I have not set any other dates but okay so the horrible era is currently on right now so we can keep going you know keep go forward or back if you need to um moving on to seasons and weather so you can add as the calendar goes on you can add different weather patterns to different days um as the months go on the seasons can change so if we want to we can come here we, we can call it a uh, hot time that'll be the name of our season and then we can come in here, we can change the color, probably something warm, maybe like that. Um, how long are seasons? 120 days. Um, maybe I'll do 90 days for peak. 
and there we go. We got our we got our season right here. And then weather, we can enable our weather if we need to. It'll give us a seed that'll be connected to the calendar that we set this up in. And we can change just our temperature units and our wind. And then moving on to locations. Locations is sort of connected to seasons and weather in that um, you would use this for setting up if you had a large world and on one side of the world it was winter and on the other side of the world it was summer. This, this is good for that. This is good for laying out different, uh, like, Australia and Canada. Celestial bodies, you can change the cycles of the moon as you need to if you want to. Um, I don't, I haven't done it in mine, but you're more than welcome. We can call this a uh, new moon. So we'll come in here, we'll do a new moon, we'll call it new moon. It's clever. We'll hit create and then cycle and offset. You can change the colors, change the shadowing, whatever you want to do to it, just to make it stand out on your calendar if you want to. Uh, so cycle, um, I really don't know a lot about how the moon works. I'm going to say 13 and then let's do uh, not really much, maybe two. Okay. And then, uh, let's give it, uh, let's give it a, we'll make it like that. I imagine I don't have these days, right? I don't really know how the cycles of the moon work, but you know, me and the moon are buds, so it's all good. And then finally events, you can create events that have happened like major milestones or uh, historic moments that you want to add to your calendar just for like reference points or anything like that. So we'll go in here, we'll add an event. Uh, we'll say, uh, what are we going to call it? Uh, the greatest party ever. Okay. And I haven't, I don't have a note for it yet. Maybe I should use a note. Well, you put the note here if you need to. It was a great party. And then do we want it today? Maybe we'll make it for uh, the 28th. Okay. Okay. And there's one of our events right there. And you can just keep adding to them and it'll populate as you go. Okay. And then we'll come back to general. We'll close out of here. And now we have our tribution calendar, which we already have, and our test test calendar. So because I have two, I'm going to go up to the default calendar. I'm going to set it to test, test, and I'm going to close out of here. I'm going to go back to my home and here is our new test, test calendar. We are in month six of 2300, one day, two day, three day, four day, five day, six day, seven day, my 30 days all laid out. And then coming back up to our, uh, where is it? Our calendar screen. This is also now test, test. Now, none of this information, it's all relevant to the other calendar, but you could fill it out the same way in your version if you need to. But this is now the default calendar, which is showing here and showing here. And then, of course, if you want to add the calendar somewhere, it is just one, two, three, calendarium. Whoops. And that is it. There's your calendar, just like that. And if we want, we can come up here, we can click on years and just see all the months that we have made already, everything laid out to our simple 30 day every month calendar system. There is everything. Or we can just lay it out week to week if you need this smaller in whatever you're doing. Uh, and then we'll come back to month and you can right click on any day you need to, to pick your day. So our day now is the 12th, uh, three day the 12th of month six, 2300. And then we can uh, create an event so we can say something happened today. Let's pick something. Um, uh, Ashmore. We'll say the Ashmore festival happens today. So there you go. It's added in. And now we got a little note right here, little dot. I don't know if you can see it, but on the 12th, there's that little dot showing us that the Ashmore festival is today. And that's pretty much the calendar. I would recommend just kind of walking through it slowly, seeing how everything kind of works together. It can be a little cumbersome at the beginning, but it is really worth it. It is very immersive having my own calendar in here. I really enjoy it. And again, it's just the Calendarium app in the plugins, in the community plugins. If you have any questions or you're having any issues, please let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to help you out any way I can. I'm Mark from Pratt Design. We'll see you down the road.